Bangalore also same scene when you came here? No, Bangalore is the scene. There were uh, some few galleries. Okay. But then the art itself in Bangalore was different. Okay. It was not the similar type of thing. Oh. Like what, what we used to do in Chennai. Okay. And so I had to readjust myself to the situation here, hmm. and which I did. And uh, one great advantage of uh, Bangalore is the artist community here. Mm. They they are very open. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, Chennai also they are very open, but there is a hierarchy there. Yeah. Senior, yeah. junior, sub junior like Because that. Because everyone came from the same academy, same yeah, school there. School. Huh. Whereas in Bangalore, Bangalore it's not like that. Okay. We don't consider. Dhadamani, I, I consider him as an artist. Yeah. I don't artist. consider him as junior to me. Yeah. You know, like that. Okay. So, I don't have any sort of a problem that way. Okay. And they also behave the same way, you know. Okay. With the senior, with this artist community. Yeah. And uh, so that, that, that made me feel very comfortable in Bangalore. Okay. And uh, I started having my exhibitions and... Uh, by that time, you have developed this, uh, your style and language you have developed by that time? When you yeah, came I out? did, I did. I did develop my language and uh, the College of Art itself. Oh, great. 1965, 66. Okay. I was, uh, after uh, Souza's inspiration, oh. there are other things, you know, some three, four artist works I really liked. But then I developed some language of my own. Because we were discussing about, uh, you know, uh, what, whether we should follow the Western technique yeah. or whether we should create our own techniques. Yeah. And uh, so, in early in Cholamandal. Okay. Was, then, you know, some of us and I, I was inspired by Kannada literature, Kannada poetry, thanks to uh, Girish Karnad, who was one of my very close friends, yeah. whom I met in 1963 in Chennai. Okay. And uh, he exposed me to the best of, best of Kannada literature okay. and Kannada theatre and he introduced me to uh, some of these writers like Anantamurthy, uh, Vivekananth and P. Lankesh and all these people who are great writers and great theatre per personalities. And uh, so, uh, for me it was a, a more than art. It was uh, literature which influenced me. Okay. And uh, I particularly Kannada literature, oh. Kannada alphabets and things like that. Okay. And uh, so each artist developed on their own. Some of these my my friends like Akitam Narayanan and uh, V Vishwanathan, they they took to Shankar uh, Shankar Acharya's Lahari. Okay. So, Shankar Lahari or what it was called. So uh, like that. Yeah. And Panikar himself took to some sort of a writing on the painting and things like that. Oh. And uh, so uh, the and also I for 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 me, I want to get out of the uh, so-called influence of the West, hmm. if possible. Okay. By not seeing the Western art. Oh. So for almost for one year, I did not see any of the Western art books. Oh. And uh, then uh, no films oh. on Western art. Okay. And uh, played music, which is Indian music, in the, mm. at home. Yes. And then had uh, Tanjore paintings or Mysore school painting. Yeah. So that every morning you get up, you see those things. You know? Indianization. Yeah, yeah. Inspiration is different. Yeah. So I did that. Okay. So that helped me a lot to achieve something at that time. Yeah. Great, sir. Great. So you used to have your solo shows here? Yeah, I used to have my solo shows in Bangalore and uh, it so happened that once uh, the secretary of Jahangirat Gallery had come hmm. to my place in Bangalore okay. and then he said to Mr. Vasudev, he never showed in uh, Jahangirat Gallery for a long time oh. after you showed in Pandol Gallery. Hmm. I said, you give me the entire gallery, I'll show. Okay. So in two months he wrote a letter to me saying that I kept entire galleries for you. Oh, All nice. the three galleries oh. plus one uh, auditorium gallery. Oh. And I was really, you know, I didn't know what to do. Which year? Which year? It was in uh, 1990. Oh. 
1990. Then uh, 1991, I think. Okay. 1990, 1991. Okay. Then, uh, then I started painting. Yeah. For me, I didn't have Arnavas to criticize my painting. Yeah. yeah Nor yeah, the yeah, Bangalore yeah, artists yeah, were new. So and uh, I had to depend completely on myself. Oh. Then I did series of paintings. I thought best is to do whatever I feel like doing. Yeah. So all sorts of uh, images which I did even earlier came to me, and I did those series. And I asked one of the uh, gallery person from Bangalore to come with me to Bombay oh. to to sponsor the exhibition. And it was a very good show which I had. Oh, And since nice, then, Jangir Art Gallery has been offering me oh. once in two or three years oh. entire galleries, which I now I'm not taking it now. <laughs> But uh, till till three years, four years ago, okay. they were offering me like that. Oh, that's great. Sir. Even now they ask me, uh-huh. would you like to have it, sir? I said no. That's great. Getting uh, space there is so tough. Very tough. Yeah. Very tough. <laughs> But uh, you know, one thing about Jangir Art Gallery is. it has all sorts of people coming in mm-hmm. that's what really i like okay general public us general art viewers, buyers general people general mm-hmm. public are also coming commoners and commoners and appreciators of art and collectors of art everybody is coming there okay that's one advantage of jangir art gallery oh anyway now now bombay has got lot of galleries and yeah mm-hmm. So, what are your favorite colors, and uh, how did you choose your palette? And uh, 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 you kept continuing that. You keep continuing that same palette till now. Mm, you know, the thing is that uh, while I was thinking about the Indianness, yeah, I thought of the colors. The colors were uh, mainly from uh, uh, from miniatures or murals. Yeah. So, sort of a. Yeah, slight green. green, slight brown, slight yellow, like that, okay. which I use in my painting. Yeah, sir. And at the same time, I felt that I should give importance to one color in a painting. Okay. Not mix so many colors. Hmm. Though I work with the green or yellow or brown. Yeah. In one painting. I bring in other colors, but they 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 don't dominate. Yeah, one color uh, you one gave color importance. One color dominates. Okay. The painting. Same you are continuing. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. So, how did uh, Ajanta? Every artist go to Ajanta and Delora for their inspiration. So, how how did you get inspired from Ajanta and Delora? Not directly, but what I really liked is the way they approached with colors. Okay. That was very important for me. Oh. Not Ajanta figures as such. Yeah. So, figuration I I got it from my own source. Yeah. Mm. But uh, uh, colors certainly inspired me. Both miniatures, Persian and Rajasthan miniatures, as well as uh, Ajanta murals. Okay. Colors. And uh, so, in uh, when coming coming to your uh, series of paintings, you started with that Kalpa Vruksha or uh, Tree of Life tree. So, how uh, are you interested in nature? Are you want to show nature in your paintings? And how it started? Uh, the idea of uh, bringing a tree into your painting. Yeah, it's a coincidence completely. Hmm. Because um, when I was pay- when I was when I started doing something creative. My first series was fantasy. Okay. And Maithuna, Maithuna is act of love between man and woman. Yeah. At the same time, with various elements in nature. Okay. Then I had a show in Delhi mm. in 1975, where I showed one painting where the tree in the fantasy series had come to the middle of the painting. And hills at the back. Okay. So one of my friends came and asked me, "Is it tree of life?" Hmm. I said, "What is tree of life? I don't know anything about tree of life." And then he said, "No, no, there is a tree of life which is very interesting thing under the book." So I went and bought myself that book. Oh, who wrote that? I is okay. an Englishman. Okay. I think Thomas something. You know? Yeah. Can't remember. Okay. So 
I found a lot of imageries mm. which I thought about in my painting. Oh. And uh, I found that uh, uh, different religions have used a tree. In different forms. Different forms. The critic, artists and craftsmen, they all have done something great about tree of life. Then I thought I should give an Indian name. Okay. Called it Vriksha. Hmm. And uh, the tree is Vriksha for in India, in Sanskrit name, in Sanskrit. And so I called it Vriksha. And I found uh, that a lot of, lot of my technical problems hmm. would get solved by using this one form, hmm. the tree, hmm. the Vriksha. You see, the thing is, one could do realism to symbolism to abstraction. Yeah. And whatever size one wanted, one could do. Yeah. And so, I took, it took almost 10 years for me to carry on oh. with one subject like tree. Oh, great. Then, then the tree of life became tree of life and death, which I do not know why it happened like that. Mm. But uh, Karnad, when he made a film on uh, my late wife Arnavas, he made a documentary film on her. Oh. And in which he talks about uh, there was no indication of death and decomposition in Arnavas's work, oh. whereas one can see in Vasudev's work, decomposition and death. Oh. And so, I don't know I mean, whether it is a, that's a fact or not, but anyway, my painting had a oh, death also in that. Oh. And uh, I felt that, yes, it's true that nothing is permanent, dies and grows again. Yeah. Maybe you are already facing the problem of her health and Quite possible, mm -hmm. quite possible. That reflected Though, in your work? Maybe, yes. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. so, there is no intention. Okay. But maybe, yes. Yeah. But then, it, it so happened like that way. And then a tree, tree when, it, when I came to Bangalore, Bangalore atmosphere, art atmosphere was different. Mm -hmm. So the artists here were doing something different altogether and so I was quite fascinated by seeing their work okay. and and got into them, got in got in with them hmm. to do work and it was interesting. It was interesting. And uh, from 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 tree uh, she also life, next to you did Yeah yeah what I did was I I went to this uh, Ayodhya the time, you know, I was in uh, Kolkata. Oh. So there was a Birla Academy uh, had organized a, an art camp. And so last day of the camp was this Ayodhya thing which took place. Oh. And I came back to Bangalore and did a painting of a man in agony. Oh. That painting is with uh, Delhi Art Gallery. Okay. And uh, so that moved me to Manscapes, yes. Manscapes, yeah. The so, surroundings and society, what's happening in the society influence the artist, art, real artist. Yeah, Manscapes. And then Manscapes slowly led me to theatre of life. See, I used to, before I had any place, I, my father being a agriculturist, had given me a place in ba near Bangalore, about an hour drive from here. And so I built a house there sort of a farmhouse okay. and uh, I was working there. Oh. I didn't have any place in the city. Okay. So, at that time I felt that uh, uh, when I was watching the villagers, mm. they were all busy in front of the TV at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. They would sit in front of TV. Serials they used to watch. And so I thought, what is this happening? Anyway, I put number of heads and uh, idiot box and things like that. And I built some paintings. Theater, theater. Then later on, you know, I felt that why only villagers, even we are also like that. We also exp expose ourselves to cinema, whatever yeah. is happening on television. And uh, so, you know, the... Life itself is a stage. <laughs> yeah. So that, so I, and uh, my, my wife gave me a title is uh, the, the, the present wife and uh, she gave me a title Theatre of Life. Okay. So, then you know because of my association with uh, Bivikaran and Girish Karnad and others 
for me stories which my mother had used to tell me my great grandfather used to tell me oh. all those sort of the things started coming back okay and uh, so they were all part of theater of life series for example even this this work oh. is theater of life okay there are some uh, human heads and you know things like that okay so then uh, it was uh, theater of life for some time then i felt then you know, i met through my present wife she is a writer okay that she is a journalist and a writer oh and uh, activist also yeah. feminist and activist oh nice so through her i met lot of uh, activists writers activists filmmakers and people like that then my my way of thinking also became slightly Changed. different okay so i took to this uh, earthscape series not where the tree which i used to worship before as a vriksha mm. became part of the destruction of mankind oh. and uh, so the tree itself took a different shape human beings cutting it off destroying it and destroying our themselves yeah so that's what's called the earthscape series okay so earthscape series i did for some time mm. then theater of life and earthscape series led me to human uh, people coming in and then she started coming in there yeah. and she also was a sort of a because of uh, one story which ek ramanujan had said okay ek ramanujan a great a poet and a yes. writer who was a good friend of mine and uh, through karnad and he he she, he said that she is a very important uh, person yeah and so i i took the she form and then created trees around that Mm. a lot of elements around that yeah and so tree and she she and tree she and fish she and elephant she and elephant like that you know mm. and then uh, i always associate myself with two figures mm. not with one okay so i felt again a man should come there mm. so man and she he and she what i called it yeah that led me to what is called the present series rhapsody okay he you know i am interested in music no oh, okay music theater and yeah, dance literature. literature so what kind of music you listen I to i like i like both classical indian hindustani and carnatic oh. and uh, anything international also okay i appreciate carnatic music by sanjay subramanian yeah. or md ramanathan people like that and uh, in in uh, in hindustani you know venkatesh uh, kumar or anybody for that matter you know i really like yeah so i i play music while i'm and work while and working work. you listen to music okay and so the even in the film which was made on me ha oh. uh, oh. documentary okay i told the director oh. and the music director oh please use four voices okay which i can choose and give you oh. while i am painting so they used it oh nice so that was very nice of them okay and uh, so the music it has got a something like rhapsody you know yeah so i thought why not i title some of my works rhapsody okay that's where i am right now oh and i right now you are working on music rhapsody. related but uh, in the last uh, four years ago when covid started yeah and uh, isolation yeah and no 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 i couldn't even go to my previous studio or farm studio or cholamandal so i started doing some drawings at home and then then one day i received some nice invitation card okay. in which there is a gold or silver lines oh so i cut them and pasted them onto my drawings oh which led me to collages started developing collages yeah so i did a series of collages oh. and drawings and uh, drawing in into collages oh so that 
one gallery here, Sumuka Gallery. Okay. They wanted to have a show of my work. Oh. And I, I told them only these things I have done now, the last two years. So they selected some 40 of them and exhibited them. And it was a completely a so new thing for people. Yeah, from your you know, From my brush. usual painting and uh, relief work. Yeah. I, they felt that it, they, there is a complete change. Complete drastic change. change. Yeah. And in terms of appreciation, in terms of sales, in terms of everything, okay. it was different. Oh. And uh, this year, there was uh, an exhibition of mine selected, curated by an art critic from Delhi, oh. M. L. Johnny, and then he took place in it took place in Delhi in the month of February. And uh, my tapas, my uh, collages work, collage work took place in Chennai oh. Forum Gallery. Then, uh, yeah, Calcutta Academy, Calcutta Creative Center, yeah. KCC it's called, okay. Imami Group's thing. They sponsored an exhibition of my, my, my 20 years of, uh, uh, 20 drawings and 15 um, tapestries. Okay. And then, recently, uh, in Bhuvaneshwar, an art gallery sponsored my show of collages and drawings, which took place in State Gallery. Oh. So, nice. things are going on. Yeah. Like that. So, you have worked with uh, different materials like copper and uh, tapestry, no? So, please tell us something about that and uh, how you, do you feel when you are working that with that? You see, I have a great respect for art, uh, art craft, craft okay. which I studied in College of Art. Yeah. Though not for my subject as a diploma, yeah. but otherwise. And I had a, I had a lot of respect for craftsmen. Okay. Yeah. And they are, they are as good as artists. Yeah. I don't understand why we should put them down. It so happened that uh, in Cholamandal we wanted to have more craft. Mm. We invited one craftsman from a college, okay. retired, oh. to teach us beating copper. Oh. I learned from him okay. and created copper reliefs. Oh. Then I taught this medium to my carpenter boy oh. who does mainly my stretchers and canvas okay. stretching and things like that, okay. frames. Mm. And he, he learned the medium. He is my right hand man okay. to doing copper because oh. it is a, it is a tough medium, you know. Yeah. So then. Uh, I wanted to do the uh, wood inlay work. So the Crafts Council of Karnataka they told me that I can go ahead and they would sponsor it. So I found a very good inlay, good inlay, wood inlay worker in Mysore with whom I worked for nearly one year. Oh. Creating bowls, cap, you know, pendants and everything. And uh, he created them. That was another thing. Then, I was whenever I went abroad, I was li I was liking tapestries, uh -huh. both traditional tapestry and contemporary ones. Okay. And I knew contemporary ones are done by Picasso, Braque, or Modigliani, and others, but not them themselves. Uh -huh. It was done by somebody else. Yeah. So in, in India, I was looking for somebody whom I could work with, and it so happened that I met Hussein, M. F. Hussein, mm. uh, who used to live uh, very close by our house in Kormangala oh. in Bangalore. Okay. So I went to his place one day for a, when he had come and uh, he had about a half a dozen uh, wall hangings like uh, tapestries. Then I asked him, sir, you don't do tapestries yourself? Hmm. Is it done in Banaras? Hmm. He said, no, Vasudev, there is one person in Bangalore who does these things for me. Okay. So then he introduced me to that oh. person. And that person has been working with me in collaboration for the last 22 years. Oh, great. And for me, collaboration is one thing. One thing is to understand each other. Yeah. To understand each other's medium. Yeah. And to respect each other. Yes. Give respect to yeah. the person. Yeah. And then it works. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, one work, two work, setting it yeah. down. It does, it does there won't mean. be continuity. Yeah. And then he took first, uh, you know, one, he invi I invited him to my studio had said, sir, did you see my work and I would like to collaborate with you. 
He said, yes, yes, we will do it. Then he took one, one work of mine and then he found that it took nearly about uh, uh, six months to do a small one. Oh. And I knew the problem he was facing. And then when he came home after finishing that, I told him yeah. that is it okay to collaborate with me. Hmm. Then uh, he said, sir, I, do, I don't mind collaborating with you provided there are three conditions. One condition is you have to pay me whatever I charge. Okay. I said, no problem. <laughs> Two, he said, I will take my own time to mm. do things. Yeah. No hurry. Freedom to do said, okay. There. Third, third one, he said, he said something. Uh, I charge and uh, there is something, one, one more thing he said. Oh. I remember. So I said, okay. All the three things agreed. Agreed. And uh, so we are collaborating collaborating for the last 22 years. Oh my God. And uh, in fact, uh, when I had my show in Chennai, I took him there to Chennai. Okay. Introduced him to people. Oh. Here also, when I had my first show of uh, my, these tapestries, I introduced him to all the people. And he is one, one, friend, one person I felt who doesn't get, uh, you know, uh, affected by finance. Mm. For example, some people who had seen my work at the exhibition, mm. they went to his house okay. and told him, you know now that it's all codified, <laughs> so you can do two, two works for us, we will pay you. He said, no, I won't pay you, take me anyway, because I'm working for Vasudev and yeah. that's it. Okay. Only one work he has said, that's all, not more than that. Mm. So if you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't find anything other than this mm. anywhere, it's because of my, my instruction to him is only yeah. one work. Whatever and it is. Your works he should do only for you, not yeah. for others. Not for others, okay. yeah. not for others at all. Hmm. And uh, so we have been working like that. And uh, so... And to bring that uh, painting style into tapestry also it takes time. Time, it takes So time. many colors yeah, and it tones. Takes time. Hmm. Only thing is, you know, when you, when you... From painting, I choose the painting, which I feel well go goes well with the tapestry yeah. and then the painting uh, for example if there is a, a blue there yeah. if I want to make it into a vermilion mm. or a darker blue mm. I choose the thread oh. which I get dyed okay so the, the thread which is dyed mm. is used oh. so there is a slight difference between the original and that Okay. That is that is the creativity there. You supervise everything. Yeah. Okay. And so he does the things. Hmm. That's nice. My association also, you know, I feel uh, there are two things which I must tell you. Yeah. One thing is that 1989 I moved to Bangalore. 1991, 92, I met the present uh, wife of mine. Yeah. She had moved to Bangalore with her daughter. Oh. So, we were we used to meet at the parents' teachers' meetings. Okay. And uh, and also we, were, we had good friends in Karnats. Oh. So, we decided to get married. Okay, nice. And our children are 11, and 11 years oh. at that time. Okay. Now they are both 42. Oh. Daughter and son. Okay. And uh, so... They are into art or they are choosing you know, son has The son has gone into NID. National oh. Institute of Design. Okay. And the daughter has written to can uh, gone to journalism. Oh. Like my wife. Okay. So they are both are individually they do things. Yeah, nice. Independently. Nice. And uh, so and then uh, I felt a need to do something to society. Yeah. And True. so three things I started. One is when Ar Arnavas passed away in nineteen eighty eight. I created a charitable trust okay. and the trust is giving scholarships and financial assistance to young artists yeah. which has been going on and more than 200 artists nice. have so far Great, benefited. Sir. Great. And uh, in the last few years uh, here in Bangalore, 
I studied what's called Ananya Drishya. Yeah, Ananya Drishya and the art park art also park. you have started. Yeah. What is it, sir? Ananya Drishya? Ana, Ananya Drishya is one thing, you know. The Ananya is an organization which is already doing some good work in music and dance. Oh. And uh, I'm one of the trustees there. Okay. So I felt the need to bring in visual art depart- visual art also there. So I spoke to the uh, managing director of the uh, Ananya. Okay. And then I said we will have a visual art department. So I, I, I talked to some of the artist community of mine. They all agreed to my suggestion. Then to, to create funds to do the Ananya Drishya, we wanted funds to be created. So we got uh, uh, a person, a friend of mine, a businessman. I told him, why don't three of you, four of you can take the entire thing. So you know, what we did was, 70 artists we chose in Bangalore. Oh and uh, sent them two canvases each, small ones, okay. and said, please do two paintings, okay. and we will have an exhibition. Yeah. And sale proceeds will go to chari- uh, charities, okay. to Aranya Drishya. Even for artists also to support them, yeah. you share some amount? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. This is a, they, they completely agreed to oh. give, okay. because we provided the canvas, everything. Okay. Then, so in Ananya Drishya, you used to t- uh, give works to the artists yeah. and take back canvas you used to give yeah, and take paintings them. for them and yeah. exhibit them. With the exhibition, we took, we conducted a big exhibition and I requested some two, three business people, friend of mine, friends of mine, okay. to buy the works. And uh, only one person came forward and said, I don't mind buying, but I can't buy all the things. Yeah. I said, no, do one thing, you pay in installment and buy all the things oh. and flat rate. Okay. So he said yes. So he took about four, three, four years to give the money. Oh. But anyway, with that mm. money, seed money, okay. we created Ananya Drishya. The idea be behind this one is art education. That is, you know, art appreciation. Mm. That is, you know, inviting one artist every month and make him present his works oh. on the screen. Okay. and have a moderator to talk about it. Oh. And the artist himself will explain, he or she will explain what they are doing. Wonderful ideas. Oh, yeah. Mm. And that's been going on for a little number of years. Oh my God. And uh, another thing is, I felt the need, because many people don't go to art galleries. Oh. We don't have the habit of going to art galleries yeah. in India. Very few people go. And very few people meet the artists. Yeah. They find it very difficult to talk to the artists. And so we thought, Again, I spoke to some of my artist friends and said, we'll create some place where they can come, sit and talk to the artist. And so we created Art Park. First Sunday of every month, we bought 25 of us to assemble. And then uh, we bring in our small works to the location. And we have provided f- food and you know, coffee, tea, biscuits and other things. From 11 to 5, we are there. Okay. They provided tables, chairs to do sit and do work. Where is the then, venue? When you keep changing? Uh, the venue generally it's going to be one place. Okay. On first Sunday. But other Sundays, you know, if there is any other person inspired in, uh, who wants to sponsor, hmm. then we don't mind going there. Okay. So it will cost about 40, 45,000 rupees each program. Oh. And uh, then uh, people can afford easily and take the work uh, on the spot. On the spot, and uh, then the drawings we give drawing sheets to the invited artists, and those artists, the whatever they make, they should not sell for more than thousand rupees. Okay. Even if I sell at a gallery at twenty five thirty thousand rupees, hmm. if I am invited to that art park thing, that day my drawing will be sold only for thousand. That great loss for galleries. <laughs> No, that's, the norm. that's okay. So, but that, that's mainly to gen- generally encourage yeah, the non-gallery uh, yeah. going public. And even artists also can't exhibit their works in galleries. So upcoming artists and students, they can come and work there yeah. and something they get out of it. Yeah. And they can buy the material. Okay. Art materials are so yeah. expensive. And uh, what we do is, uh, we have, every year we change the committee. The committee okay. uh, is about 15 people, and we, we make a, one of them 
as the president of the art party and then one or two persons of the committee will choose the artists of their choice oh so that it will not become one person's idea okay it is a democratic situation oh nice so that's how it's going on oh great sir you have and wonderful uh, uh, brain tales yeah anyway it's going on it's going on for society oh. i i feel that uh, i've learned two things from two persons okay one is panikkar oh. without whom i don't think metras would have had a art movement and chola mandal okay and uh, k k hebar without whom the change has taken place in karnataka would not have taken place oh so the two persons are very important for me okay and uh, so i feel that i should be responsible to society yes that's true i'm sir. part of society nice of you sir and uh, so, so selfless <laughs> <laughs> then, then then the other thing is education yeah. art education i felt that uh, we really need a college uh, art education and chitrakala parishad is all right Yeah. But they they charge a lot for yeah uh, private uh, one yeah. Media. So I want I don't want a university to start. University doesn't have sir. No, by I, the time they have started one. Okay. They started about eight years ago, visual art department. Oh. And uh, the the fee structure is very very low. Oh. Compared to all these other That's institutions. That's great. Hmm. And so. So you have initiated uh, to start, uh, start painting or um, this painting visual arts visual art. in the Bangalore University. University. That's great, sir. Wonderful. So it goes on. Hmm. Like that. That's great. Things are going on. Okay. And, and uh, what happened to the Chola Mandala house? Uh, you have. Chola Mandala house. I have kept it as it is. Okay. I have extended the house now, mm-hmm. and I have built uh, upstairs. Uh, is a studio oh. another studio okay a small studio oh which is named after arnavas oh and uh, those artists you know are even writers if they want for 3 or 4 months oh that place is uh, useful for them okay and they can use it as they want oh and uh, give uh, some donation to the charities okay which is useful to the uh, artists even we can go for a week and work there to see the surrounding area generally atmosphere. generally we give for 3 months okay then some special cases we give for less oh mm, that's nice idea sir then uh, oh, what else you are doing and ngma you have contributed to national, national gallery, gallery, gallery of modern, modern art is you know in you know, this uh, our karnataka government was asked some 20 years ago or even more than that uh, a place for National Gallery of Modern Art by Ministry of Culture, okay. Government of India. I, as you know, we were, they were all sleepy here, and and I asked one day, one day, Secretary of Culture, I said, "What's happening to that?" So no, no, we want to give some place in here, Esar Gatta, where where there is a dance school, Prithvi okay. Babedi's oh. dance school. I said that that place is only it's meant for an art village, no. uh, not a. In the National Gallery of Modern Museum. Art. Mm. It has to be in the middle of city, and yeah, people should go yeah. easily and uh, much then, without much travelling. Then we, we, what we did was we were, what's that, ma? Sorry. So the three, the three, uh, uh, three or four of us, we we went to press club. Okay. And we selected some three uh, places for National Gallery, and told the press people that. we really need a national gallery of modern art then our press bangalore press is very proactive oh. they wrote about it and then uh, we were invited by the culture minister and uh, then chief secretary and then chief minister himself so he said forget the other two places but manikivelu mansion we're talking about it's a very big place oh. but why do you need such a big place sir Why don't you choose a house? I can give you a house for National Gallery of Modern Art. I said, sir, house is so not National a National Gallery. National Gallery is very important, a big <laughs> yes. one. And then we need the car space, car parking space, yeah. auditorium, Sculpture. everything. Then uh, two weeks later, he called me again. He said, see, there is a problem. I am a chief minister because of legislators. Legislators want a club. Oh. and they have want this place i said no sir for them a house is important 
you can give him like a club <laughs> yeah. in a house. Who was but that uh, chief minister, then chief minister? Patel. Okay. J.H. Patel. Okay. And then, somehow or other, you know, I did, it occurred to him that it's a good idea and he gave the place. After giving the place, two years, people who were sitting there, I, IAS officers, they wouldn't move. Oh. They were all very happy there, you know. Yeah. And uh, then uh, I met the chief secretary at that time. Okay. I said, what's happening, sir? Hmm. He said, Mr. Vasudev, you should know that there is a backward class commission there and there is a, you know, these funds. I said, sir, amongst the society, we are the most backward. Artists. Artists. No support for artists everywhere. No, we everywhere. are very, very, you know, so if you want us to do dharna in front of the building, we'll do it. <laughs> Next Sunday, 100 artists will stand. <laughs> so they said, no, 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 don't do it. Some or the other, this S.M. Krishna had become the chief minister. He, he, he was afraid of Chandra Babu Naidu. Oh. Chandra Babu Naidu was chief minister of Kerala, okay. Andhra, at that time. Oh. So the news was going around that Chandra Babu Naidu, if he has got any, any idea, National Gallery of Modern Art, he would get it to Hyderabad. So Krishna, I think... Uh, we don't have Lalitikala Academy there, sir. You know, but whatever it is, mm. National Gallery would have been a different thing. <laughs> so I think uh, then uh, uh, this Krishna S.M. Krishna got up one day and got the key of the building and had a big presentation. Oh. And it was uh, so nice. Nice. And I visited uh, the, a beautiful campus and a yeah, lot of greenery uh, really yeah, attracted you have been to the there? Yes. Sir. Mm. Yeah, so, anyway, it's, one, one thing is but Bangalore has got now National Gallery of Modern Art. That's great, sir. And uh, of course, Hyderabad is coming up like anything. But in art field, uh, we don't have uh, Lalitikala Academy, sir. We are fighting for that. I know, I know. In so, the anti art time, you know, it was closed. Yeah, by that, after that, uh, Lakshma Goddess has started. He uh, applied for that and uh, he worked on it, but uh, still uh, it has to materialize. Sir, what do you think the present art scenario and uh, in the country and uh, how people are giving uh, importance to the arts? Does art play a role in the society? I don't know whether art plays a role in the society, which I don't, I cannot say that. But certainly more and more artists are thriving and uh, more and more artists, unfortunately, uh, in the last few years, market is not supporting them. Yeah. And so quite a few of them, they take jobs. Yes, that's true. You know, teaching jobs or, or uh, you know, yeah. any, any other job. Outside uh, yeah. works. So they way. do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, general, otherwise, the art itself mm -hmm. has progressed very well. Yeah. I must say that art, art is... And, uh, one, one thing which I always feel uh, that younger artists I won't call younger, I said artists yeah. do. Upcoming artists, precious, upcoming, precious. Upcoming artists do is sincerely work. Mm. Sincerely work, then you will get everything. You don't have to work towards something, towards gallery, towards money making or anything. Yeah. Don't do it there. You just sincerely work, it will come. And art uh, for the art's sake. Like. Yeah, I think it's, it is important. And... Uh, even now I feel a place like Cholamandal is important. Yeah. Because of the situation what we are in today. Yeah. So, uh, do you think that uh, press or media uh, nowadays, are they cover giving enough space to the arts, particularly painting and sculpture? Uh, normally we see once in a week, that is also rare. Yeah, it is not much. Uh. Unfortunately, in the middle, they used to do, uh, you know, cover exhibitions and things like that. Yeah. There used to be an art critic or something, which is not there anymore. And uh, nowadays, sorry to say photographers, photographers like you, <laughs> you he, he takes, goes and takes some pictures. Of allied people. And that, that <laughs> appears in the newspaper. I know. They don't give importance to the artists or their paintings. They give importance to the visitors and yeah, their... Yeah, yeah, place. Yeah. Place. 
Very so, so pathetic uh, yeah. scene. So that's what is happening now. And I even think. media people ask uh, when I'm going, when anyone going to have an exhibition, who is inaugurating, madam? They will ask. Uh, they are more interested even in who is inaugurating. Even in art park, the yeah. problem was there. The uh, journalists, photographers they would come. They would say, sir, we need one particular time and a particular person to be there. So we thought of, okay. So we invited, we, we have been inviting for every art park program one important personality of Bangalore. Whether he is an artist or an art, art non-artist, scientist, anybody, we invite. And they come and they will be there for about half an hour. So because of them, uh, public and will the public, come. The public also will come and also the media will cover it. Such what a sad would, thing. Very sad. So anything you want to say, uh, what do you suggest for the young and upcoming artists? As you said, sincere in your work I think, I and anything think, else? I think uh, hard work, sincerity is very important. And uh, if you don't have that, whatever, you can't jump into, I mean, you can't, yeah, shortcut, uh, you reach, shortcut. there is no shortcut. You've got, to, you've got to really work to very hard. Yeah, no shortcuts. No shortcuts at all. You must have faced some hardships in your uh, journey. Like initially as an artist, yeah, have I you did. struggled any... I do, I did because my father was give, sending me small amount. I, I didn't want that amount also because they had spent a lot of money for my earlier education. And uh, so this was chosen by me. Yeah. And But anyway, that was not sufficient. So I used to go and work as illustrator in for some magazines, doing some cover designs and things like that. And uh, I used to make a little bit of money. And I got, in 1964, I got national scholarship for my painting. Okay. That was a That's great. very good amount, 250 rupees in 1960s. Oh. It's a big amount. Oh. So that, from that day, Help I told you. my parents, yes. I can carry on yes. great, without sir. any great, help. Sir. Great, sir. Second and I thing. think it's important, it's important for you one to work very hard. Yeah. Very hard. It's a... Hard work pays. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing is that if you go to an art gallery, you see your price and next to that, an artist who is about 30 years younger, the price is almost same. Oh. So I tell the artist, where do you get the price? Sir, you are praising, no? I thought I praise it because of Your my experience. experience. <laughs> That's what, they don't understand that. It, it goes uh, many years and a, te a technique and, you know, style, everything one has to develop, no? Yeah. And uh, not so easy. Yes, sir. true, sir. And uh, art as a carrier, if somebody wants to, wants your advice, I want to do arts, not uh, engineering or medicine. So, what do you suggest? Uh, can he get livelihood from art, only art? It is it's the way you want to do things, you know. I think uh, one should have uh, passion. Yeah. yeah, passion for what you are doing. Yeah. Or That's very important. And I feel that without that, art cannot survive. Yeah. And whatever you do, in your own way, you try to do things, it will not. Yeah, there without, should be passion for without it. Without passion, you can't. If somebody says you can't do, it has to come within it has to that come. It has to come. Yeah. How strong you are to do that. Yeah. We anticipate great works from you, sir, and uh, wish you all the best for a future series. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for spending time and uh, showing us uh, your journey. I, I don't mind sharing my journey. And you have asked me, you have taken interest in it, so I am sharing with you. You have shared your insights, sir. Great. And it's our pleasure to have you, sir, today. Thank you. So, I will go around your gallery once. This is, what is the material? Uh, Silk. Silk? Silk threads. Oh. This is cotton. Oh, this is cotton. It is cotton, but this is silk. Oh. It looks like cotton, but it's silk. 
Because I, I can't uh, get the same effect like a painting huh. in cotton. Okay. So I've turned to silk. Very nice. What is his name, sir? It's it's a it's a theater of life. Okay. Which I've created something like something like you know a stage huh. and uh, Space a tree oh. growing and the three figures. Okay. There. Yeah. Very nice. Entirely different. And uh, this one. Glass. Hmm. It's acrylic uh, drawing an uh, acrylic sheet. Oh. And uh, this is uh, our family. Oh. Yeah. These are drawings. Look yeah, like drawings on canvas. Oh. So during COVID, you said you have done. Uh, no, no, no. I did it before. Okay. When we moved into this house, oh. I thought something else should be there on this wall. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow, beautiful, sir. Beautiful. So Dennis. Yeah. From the book which you saw, which I gave, gave you. Yeah. I cut some of the pages. Oh. Recreated the story. Okay. Okay. The story is not the same thing in, in painting. Oh. It is different in collage. Okay. That's a great idea, sir. And then I use uh, say gold, silver, white paint, white ink. Hmm. Gold, you know, acrylic gold. Yeah. That COVID time, we used to wash uh, milk packets also. Without washing, we never used. <laughs> so, within the house, what you have materials that you have used and created a new farm. Yeah. That's great. It's like uh, your son is there and somebody, you know, managing Gallery. all this. You have a secretary or somebody? No, no secretary. Okay. Galleries. Oh. So beautiful. This is for uh, coming series you are doing or is I'm already? Just, I'm just working. Oh. Regularly I'm working. Oh. So great, sir. As I get ideas, I start go on working. Hmm. Beautiful, amazing, sir. So many works. I carry on working. I'm. You, know, the, you want to watch TV or sit idly? You will be doing something or another, right? One has to be. Yeah. Keep listening to music and uh, something. You have seen the film which I have made on uh, my drawings. Yeah, I heard, sir. There is a film. Uh, you directed a film also, like art director. You worked in. Fe Hmm? Cine field also. You worked in cine field also, no? I art direction. I worked as an art director okay. in Samskara and Vamsha Riksha. Oh. Samskara was a novel which is written by Anant Murthy. Okay. It, won, it got the national award for the oh, best picture. Wonderful. And uh, you know what is it? Samskara is one of the films. So you went into art direction also? I went into art direction. Mainly because one wanted to make a film on Samskara. Oh. It was 1967, which uh, Karnad uh, got a manuscript oh. from his publisher. Okay. And then after reading the manuscript, he gave it to me. Oh. I read it and I told him that it's the best thing to make a film. Oh. I said yes. When I mean, he said yes, and then we looked for a uh, producer. Okay. So once we got a producer, we 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 categorized ourselves as art director, director and things like that. Mm. Though I did a much more than art director's work. Okay. Anyway, yeah. but that's entirely different. A cine field is different working with so many yeah, people. Yeah. No, 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 no. And I, painting you can uh, allot your time I, and soul into after it. After uh, Vamsho Riksha second film yeah. with Karnada, I told him that I won't be working on any more <laughs> of this uh, okay. 